Hi, welcome to this presentation of the Smart Dog Water Bottle. Um, we're here with Leo. Um, so Smart Dog Water Bowl, we've got water bowl down here. It's can it's being uh, having its water level detected by a capacitive soil moisture sensor, which is connected into this little notch on the water bowl. Uh, via a mini clamp, it's then connected to the particle argon. Um, it's connected on the AO pin. We've also, to tell us that it's full or above 10% full, got a green light here which will come on providing it's above that 10% threshold. If it's below that, it'll turn red. And that will automatically turn on a blue, uh, the blue LED next to the USB jack on the particle argon. We've then got that uh, connecting via the particle cloud to a second particle device, in this case a photon, which is connected onto this uh, relay shield. Uh, which is getting the extra voltage needed to power the relays from DC voltage. Um, this relay is going to be connected uh, to a solenoid over here via the COM and normally open contact terminals. It's then connected to the solenoid, which is hooked up to this water tap. Um, we were going to have this outside, but weather hasn't allowed us to do so even with the tupperware container here to store our electronics in uh, we it's just been too wet in the southeast of south australia hasn't it leo um and i guess we want to see it in action so so we'll do a quick demonstration of just what happens so we've got the uh, moisture sensor in the water it's giving a green light we'll take it out give it a quick shake until it turns hopefully it'll turn red And it has now turned red and we see it filling and it fills for about 10 seconds and then we'll put it back in and we're getting a green reading and if we check on here on the console we see that it was dry for a period and now it's full uh, if we check the variables saying it's 46% full um, and if we check the uh, API thing speak, we see that we've had this change in uh, values here and that it's reading at 46% oh, full at present. And we can see that it changes depending on whether it's full or not on the moisture percentage graph. Cheers.